I come in faces Just like the moon Some days are darker than others So do not assume Welcome everybody to the first episode of Enter the Galaxy with Yana Yvonne. Let's take the time to bless this bless this episode with good energy, good vibes. Um, I'm all about positive and good vibes. Um, I'm real big on that, so I'm gonna go ahead and bless my first episode with a little bit of sage. And I love the smell of sage. It's not for everybody, but it's definitely for me. And we're gonna sit that right here and let that burn. Um, so, today's episode is Q&A's. Questions from you, answers from me. So I got a little stack of cards here. Um, I wrote everybody's questions down. I'm gonna read them off and answer them. So I hope everybody is tuned in um, to get the answers for their questions. And I'm just so excited to um, get more engaged with fans, friends, everybody. So anywho, question Ooh. number one. How do I juggle music, work, side gigs, kids, family, and still make time to interact with your supporters? Hmm. Um, to answer that question, uh, honestly, it is not easy at all to juggle work, um, juggle my business, um, juggle just life period trying to be a musician. It is not easy to do. Um, I'm still kind of working on ways to fit everything in. Um, of course, kids and family always come first for me. Um, business and work is always last and music is always in the middle. Uh, uh, I find ways, it's okay. So for me, what I've been doing to make sure that I can fit everything in my little circle is, uh, huh. <laughs> I'm, okay, so just for example, if I have song ideas when it comes to music, I might write at work, like on a break or in between my customers. Um, if I'm at home with my family and kids and I have an idea, I do music while they're sleeping, while they are sleeping. Because when my kids are up and running around, all the attention is for them. It, there is no music time. So it's hard, but I find ways around it if that kind of answers your question. So on to the next one. Bam, number two. Who inspired you to make music and what keeps you going as an artist? Hmm. Um, who inspired me to make music? Um, how can I answer this question? I can't really say anybody inspired me to make music. Um, someone inspired me to sing which is my mother. Um, she's been singing all her life, so that definitely um, put a big impact on me becoming an artist of my own. Uh, I started off writing poetry, and then I was like, you know what? Hmm, my poetry's pretty good. Let me see if I can turn it into a song, because to me, music is nothing but poetry. So to answer that question, I guess you could say my mom inspired me. Um, to make music she definitely did she's been singing all her life and music is just in my family before my father passed away music was like a big thing for him too all he did was dance and listen to music and party and um so yeah I guess my family and my mom inspired me to make music and poetry if that answers your question <laughs> Boom. Question number three. Can I be in your R&B cypher? 
yes you can <laughs> that's gonna be on a later episode but you sure can can be in, you sure can be in my r&b cypher and let me tell you it's going to be epic you never been a part of an r&b cypher you're gonna love it i'm telling you question number four why are you so dope <laughs> where do you get your inspiration from well as you can already see I already answered the inspiration question but why am i so dope how am i even supposed to answer that question i'm gonna just tell you like this like i tell everybody Yana is just an alien out here making moves, you know? I think of myself as a regular person. You know, I got flaws. I'm goofy as hell, as you can see. Um, I don't know. I guess, you know, that's just God. That's how God made me. But, like I always say, I'm just an alien out here. I'm trying to make a little move, you know? A little out of space. <laughs> um... All right, do, 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 do. question number five. What keeps you going? What keeps me going is just my drive, my inspiration, my, my drive for music, my love for music, my passion. Um, if anybody knows me personally, they know I've been singing forever and this is this has always been a dream for me to do my own music. So I guess what keeps me going is just the positive energy that I get from my peers and my family and my fans and just positive energy that I have within myself um, keeps me going. And just knowing, just knowing what I have to offer is enough motivation alone to continue to do what I'm doing um so I guess that's what keeps me moving definitely keeps me moving question six how do you recommend someone start their journey if they want to follow in your footsteps um me personally me personally I feel like if you want to be um, R&B artist or rapper or just whatever is your passion musically, um, just do it. Like, I don't really know how to answer that. Just do it. Like, honestly, it takes love for yourself and what you're doing to um, really get your music going you got to be passionate you got to have uh faith um you got to pray 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 um you just gotta love what you do love yourself love your music right if you want to follow in my footsteps that's what i did um because there was a time um that i wanted to stop doing music I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. Um, it's not my time. Oh, my music's not good enough because I didn't have enough faith in myself. That quickly changed. <laughs> so you definitely want to um, have faith in yourself, uh, stay consistent in uh, writing and recording. Um, yeah. I think that pretty much answers that question. <laughs> um, hmm. Seven. Do you write your own music? Do I write my own music? Of course. Of course. I, of course. Yes, I write my own music. Um, for my first album, X Ray, um, that I dropped in March of this year. Um, I wrote that, yes. And for my EP that I just dropped on the 10th of this month, I wrote that too. But shout out to Bay. Um, 
he did give me some advice and some lyrics on some stuff um, to kind of pull what I envisioned in mind. So yes, I write my stuff. And if you wanted to know if I have ghostwriters or whatever, I guess you could say I got one ghostwriter. Barely. <laughs> You know, he just throws in his ideas, and if I like him, I use them. And we kind of just work together on it, but I definitely write my own music, for sure. Um, boom. Number eight. What sets your music apart from other... What sets your music apart from other R&B artists? Um, what's unique or uncommon? Um... In my opinion, I think um, my style of writing is a little bit different than most. Maybe not, maybe not to others, but that's just in my opinion. My thought process is a lot different than most writers. Um, I write based off of emotion. Um, you know, I based off, I, I feel not just to uh, please a crowd. Do I hope that people enjoy what I write? Of course, every artist want, uh, every, every artist wants that. But um, music for me is a release. So however I'm feeling or whatever I'm thinking, I put it in a song. So I think that's a little unique or uncommon because to me nowadays I feel like a lot of rap, a lot of rappers, a lot of R&B artists, they write just to please the crowd. I don't do that. I write based on how I feel and what I feel is uh, is good music. So I think that makes me unique. And like I always say, I'm just an alien, you know, in outer space. That's enough right there. Uh, question number nine. How has things been since you, wait, let me, let me, let me read that over. How has things been, how have things been since your new single has been released? Um, since my EP phases has been released, um, I think everything has been good. I, I think, don't get me wrong, I love, love, love my album X-Ray. Love, love, love my album X-Ray. I love everything that I write. But I definitely think that this EP phases, which is um, going to be a three-part EP. This is only the first part, still two to come. I think this has definitely put me on the map as an artist. Um, not where I wanna be yet, but definitely on the path to getting there. Um, Cause I think I'm just growing as an artist and knowing myself more and what I want and what I want to write about is has definitely um, had has definitely had an impact when it came to writing this EP and uh, releasing it. So I think that this move is a good one <laughs> to answer your question. Number 10, what's your favorite song you made and why? I do not have a favorite song. Um, all of my songs are my favorite <laughs> because I wrote them, of course. So uh, to answer your question, I do not have a favorite song. I like all of my songs. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of a crazy question. I don't have a favorite song. Like, yeah, all of my songs, I guess. Even the ones that's, that are unreleased. Like, sometimes I'm a little iffy about um about a song. And I feel like, you know, uh, maybe it's not good enough to put out to the public. But then I change my mind real quick and be like, ah, yeah, right. Just go ahead and put it out and see what happens. If it's a hit, it's a hit. If it's not, it's not. It's still your music, girl. It's dope, regardless. <laughs> so I don't have a favorite song to answer your question. Um, boom. 
11. What is my episodes about? Enter the Galaxy um, is about me. Um, it's a way for me to interact with my fans. It's a way for me to let you guys know what's coming up next other than just seeing something on Instagram, a post. Um, it's a way to let you guys in um, in my little world. You know, uh, I'm going to have you know, episode, every episode is going to be different, you guys. It's not going to be just questions and answers. It might be, uh, you know, me singing a song. It might be me dancing. It might be a conversation, you know. It might be an IG Live where I put somebody on there and, we, you know, we, we, ha we, 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 we talk about a certain topic. Like, everything is, every episode is going to be different. I'm just trying to find... Well, like the first question, um, when they ask how do I juggle music and side gigs and kids and family and all that stuff, this is my way of juggling my music life, um, interacting with new fans, fans that are already here, people who just want to know who I am and what is she doing, you know, this is my way of uh, stepping out of the box in my stepping out of the box for myself and yeah so that's what my episodes are about it's going to be something different it's not going to be the same every time never going to be the same every time um so moving on 12 do you do you remember your first time singing in front of an audience if so how did it how did it make you feel um, first time in front of an audience, I was a child, um, definitely church. <laughs> My first solo was His Eyes on the Sparrow. How did it make me feel? Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, how did it make me feel? Amazing. Honestly, I was extremely nervous, um, but it definitely made me feel amazing. Um, I love to sing, and honestly, I prefer performing in front of a in front of a live crowd than being in a studio. Honestly, I feel like my best work is in front of a crowd. So, and it's probably because I'm always so nervous every time. I'm all I'm always so nervous every time I perform. Like. So that's a little secret for you guys. Like, I'm, it's never a time where I'm just be like, oh yeah, I'm about to go out there and kill it. And ooh, no. Mm -mm. Always nervous. It's always somebody calming me down. But as soon as I set that stage, hit that stage, and the first sound coming out of my mouth, I am completely okay. But yeah, uh, I definitely. I want to say I was about nine. No, 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 no. Eight or nine when I first sung in front of an audience. But if you want to call, if you want to uh, add my family as an audience, then I was singing way before that then. So, yeah, I want to say about eight or nine, though, in front of people that I didn't know would be my first. Be my first. And it made me feel amazing. Y'all see that? 13. How do you stay committed to chasing your dreams? What do you do when you get discouraged? Does having a team help? So to answer the first question, um, I stay committed to chasing my dreams because it's something that I really want. Um, I feel like my music and my voice should be heard. I feel like what I'm doing now is um, exactly what I need to be doing. Is the road that I need to be walking on. Um, just my drive and passion for 
uh, everything that I create uh, keeps me committed to chasing my dreams. And of course, my family and my kids um, wanting a better living and life for them um, is always like the goal. Um, what do I do when I get discouraged? Um, I'm a, I meditate. I meditate when I get discouraged. Um, I take some time off. I take some time to myself and just relax. I don't want to say I talk to myself per se. I just take some time to relax my mental and rethink about what is really um what is really I okay pause because I want to answer this correctly um I take time to myself and I meditate and I rethink on everything that I accomplished thus far and everything that I want to do to keep myself going if I get in discouraged um I haven't been uh, discouraged lately because I feel like I I've been growing as an artist and the growth that I am seeing in myself uh, has been bringing me nothing but positivity um, of course you get some negative people who don't like your music blah 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 but at the end of the, at the end of the day that's that's the business my music isn't for everybody and it's not going to be for everybody but if i'm happy with it and the people that are listening to me are happy with it then i'm all good i'm all good does having a team help definitely definitely having a team is the best like just having that support system behind you at all times while you are while you are moving um and growing and just living is amazing like my team is the best shout out to great team entertainment shout out to crown dynasty crown dynasty shout out to well worth it shout out to my stylist schizo um shout out to my fans shout out to my friends shout out to my promotion team like just shout out to y'all like having a team definitely helps because trying to do this completely on my own I'm not saying that I, I couldn't do it completely on my own but trying to do it completely on my own would be harder than what it is now yes it's still hard yes we aren't where we want to be but we definitely are making the moves to get there so having a team definitely helps and I appreciate everybody that has my back um yeah so team work makes the dream work <laughs> um 14 how do you deal with writer's block Ooh. um honestly if i have writer's block i go i ask for help you know sometimes i just need an idea to go off of um, sometimes emotions aren't there and I'm not thinking of anything to write. So sometimes I just need a good idea and go from there. So that's how I handle writer's block. And since I have Julio Carlos around, I pretty much never have writer's block because he, ha he always has ideas and I take his ideas and I make them my own. So that goes back on do I write my own music yes I write my own music but do I get ideas from people yes <laughs> um 15 what inspired the title I didn't really know how to answer this question because I didn't know whether or not you were talking about the EP or whether you are talking about the show so just because I didn't know I'm just going to answer for both of those um I called my episodes enter the galaxy because like I said I'm an alien um I'm trying to let you guys enter into my world so enter the galaxy is why I named my episodes that um because I'm outer space 
duh. <laughs> and if you wanted to know why I named my EP Phases, if that was your question, I named it Phases um, because like I said, it's a three part EP. This was only the first part, still two to come, two to come. Um, I named that Phases because uh, when I was writing the songs for Phases, one, two, and three, um, it was a growth process for me. Uh, a growth process uh, when it comes to writing, a growth process when it comes to my thoughts, a growth process, uh, just me knowing myself as a woman, as a mother, as a lover, as a person in general. Um, it's just all phases of me, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> and last of all, number 16 <laughs> how do you feel your writing has evolved since the first song you have ever wrote baby let me tell you something my writing is completely different from when i first started off um i just think my mindset has changed so much from me being a kid to me being 27 with two kids and a whole house to take care of and you know family like just my writing has completely changed and that's more so of my thought process and where I am in life right now so and I honestly think it has turned for the better it has turned turned for the better for sure um I think that you guys will will start to notice my progression the more I drop music and just my wordplay and just everything is completely different. Um, so yeah, my, my music has definitely evolved to something great. <laughs> and it's not gonna do nothing but get even better. So, now that I have answered all of you guys' questions, I hope that uh it gave you what you were looking for um i just want to say thank you for tuning in to my first episode of enter the galaxy with yana iman um tune in next thursday at 7 p.m um for the next episode i don't quite know what i'm don't quite know what i'm gonna do next um but just stay, stay tuned and if you haven't yet downloaded or streamed my ep phases make sure you do so it's on all platforms as we speak follow me on spotify at yana yvonne that's y-a-n-n-a capital i apostrophe capital v o-n-n-e follow me on spotify uh i'm on itunes i'm on everywhere <laughs> And watch my video for phases because it's dope. It's dope sauce for real. But other than that, Sage out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I come in phases just like the moon. Some days are darker than others. So do not assume. Sometimes I need space.